What should you do if your attacker approaches you in a boxer style stance? In this video, Dan Marcou, law enforcement use of force instructor, demonstrates the scenario and how to best defend yourself without a weapon. And a quick reminder, we have a gun giveaway going on right now. You can enter for free, but it ends really soon. Just click the link in the description down below to reveal which brand new gun you could win. Now, let's play the video. Hi, I'm Dan Marco. You call me Lieutenant Dan. Thanks for being here today. Today I'm going to show you a defense against the boxer. Now if I'm squared off with a boxer and he knows what he's doing and he looks like he knows what he's doing, tight fist, he looks like he knows what he's doing, I don't want to go round for round with this person. Think about it. A boxer can go straight up with a boxer for 15 rounds and then someone has to declare the winner and you're not going to be sure. I can't do that on the street. No one can take a 15 round beating on the street. We don't train for that. And you don't want that to happen to you. So whenever I was faced in a street situation with a boxer, what I did is I leaned heavily on my wrestling background. And to all you wrestlers out there, there's a lot of you, you're going to see something you've seen before. When the person squares off with me, I might throw a punch. I, I'm not going to care if I hit him. I don't care if I hit him, but I'll throw the punch because that, what that'll do is that'll get his guard up blocking his vision to a certain extent. And once I throw that punch, I'm down. I'm shooting what's called a double leg takedown. And usually because they're not expecting it, I can usually catch them flat footed. So they'll be almost straight up when I wrap around, heads on the side, wrapped around. And so from here, I will come around and hook the leg and just lean a little bit into him, and he's going down. Now I'm not going to take him down, because we're running on a mat, and it's a pretty hard impact to take. They will go down, and they'll go down hard, and I found that most of the time the fight's over. And what I'll do in those situations where I've done that, is I will slide down on the legs, and you, if you've seen it before, rotate the foot onto their stomach, and into that figure four leg lock. But, Let's say he sees it coming to a certain extent and maybe leans forward. When I throw the punch and I come in in that double leg and he's leaning forward, then when I hook, once again, my head off the side, I will draw, pick him up and drive my head in that direction, taking him to his side rather than his back, okay? Because he won't have the same tendency to fall backwards when he's leaning forward and maybe his feet are back a bit. Okay, so then I rotate just like a double leg. And hook. I would like to thank you for taking your time to watch this. From Lieutenant Dan, stay safe, stay strong, stay positive, stay American. Thanks for staying with us all the way to the end. I'm Kevin Michalowski, Director of Content for the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. If you enjoy videos like this, please subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. We'll notify you every time something new comes out. Stay safe. We'll see you in the next video.